in the i button and the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 18 and in this video we are going to solve second problem on the topic which is volume of solids this problem is very important regarding this topic so i request you to watch this video till end because you are going to learn a lot from this video the question says prove that the volume enclosed by cylinder x square plus y square equals to 2 ax and z square is equals to 2 ax is given by 128 upon 15 a cube if you see here cylinder is given as this in previous video that is in video number 17 we have gone through cylinder whose equation is x square plus y square equals to a square and x square plus z square equals to a square if you take circle that is x, x square plus y square equals to a square and if you move that along z axis then that will form a cylinder similarly if you take x square plus z square equals to a square and if you move that circle along y axis you will find a cylinder okay so this is what this is a circle of this is the equation of circle but we need to modify this that is given x square plus y square equals to 2 a x which can be written as x minus a whole square plus y square equals to a square now we can say this is the equation of a circle whose center is at a comma 0 and radius is a so we can say suppose this is my y axis and this is my x axis and this is a comma 0 that is center of the circle so we can draw a circle like this okay this is a circle whose center is a comma 0 this is 0 comma 0 and this is 2 a comma 0 because if the radius is a then the diameter would be 2 a okay so this is a 0 comma 0 this is a comma 0 and this is 2 a comma 0 now another thing is given in the question that is z is square equals to 2 x so and z is square equals to 2 a x so these two equations are given in the problem so we need to find the volume enclosed so we can write that is required volume is given by triple integral dx dy dz now we need to find the limits of x y and z so here you can see first we will write the limit of z so in place of dz here we need to write dz in place of dx we need to write dz because first of all we will write the limit of z from here you can write the limit of z that is z equals to plus minus of root over of 2 ax so from here we can write limit of z that is this and limit of y will be you can take this you can take the help of this equation because if you take the help of this equation this would be very complicated so we'll take the help of this equation that is y equals to root plus minus of root over of 2 ax minus x square and to find the limit of x we will take the help of this that is the limit of x goes from 0 to 2a so here the limit of x goes from 0 to 2a the limit of y goes from from this equation that is minus of root over of 2ax minus x square to positive of root 2ax minus x square okay then the limit of z from here we can write that is minus of root over of 2ax positive root 2ax now the order of integration would be like this that is dz dy dx now here you can see here the limit is 0 to 2a so no we cannot change this here you can see minus something to something that is this is repeated that is minus if this is uh, x then minus x to x so we can write this as twice of limit 0 to x okay similarly here again for this we can take 2 common here and 2 common here so 2 into 2 that is 4 this will be this limit will be as it is that is 0 to 2a here it will become 0 to root over of 2ax minus x square here again we can write that is 0 to root over of 2ax then the order of integration would be same that is dz dx d sorry dy then dx okay this is the order of integration now we need to integrate this here the function is 1 so we will integrate 1 with respect to z and the limit will be from 0 to root over of 2ax so integrating 4 
zero to two a here zero to root over of two a x minus x square here it is going to be z limit goes from zero to root over of two a x then don't forget to write this that is dy dx now here for zero to two a zero to root over of two a x minus x square here it is going to be on putting this upper limit this is this will be root of two a x then dy dx now we will integrate this with respect to y but here you can see here this is independent of y so we will consider this as constant so again for integration 0 to 2 a root of 2 a x now y limit goes from 0 to root over of 2 a x minus x square okay here don't forget to write this dx now again solving this for integration 0 to 2 a here we have 2 root over, root over of 2 a x here on putting this limit upper limit that is root 2 a x minus x square now here we have dx now you can see if you want to integrate this function with respect to x whose limit is going uh, whose limit is from 0 to 2 a this is very 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 complicated okay so we will try to do something different here we are finding that is volume okay this is what this is required volume v so on putting uh, x equals to we can put x equals to 2 a sin square theta okay on putting x equals to 2 a sin theta sin square theta you will find dx okay if you replace x with this then we need to replace dx also so this is going to be 2a is as it is sin square theta okay sin square theta means 2 sin theta cos theta then d theta okay now we can rewrite this as 2 into 2 that is 4 a sin theta cos theta d theta okay now we can write volume equals to 4 integration here the limit is from 0 to 2a and that is of x the limit is of x but here we are using theta okay as the function so we are changing dx to d theta so here the limit should be of theta so on putting x equal to 0 this 2a will become take this 2a to the left hand side this will become sin square theta equal to 0 that means sin theta equal to 0 and theta value is 0 when theta equals to sin theta becomes 0 when theta equals to 0 so at x equal to 0 theta equals to 0 now put x equals to 2a so 2a 2a will get cancelled we can say like sin square theta equals to 1 that is sin theta equals to 1 that means sin theta is 1 when theta equals to pi by 2 so here it is pi by 2 so x limit is from 0 to 2a and theta is from 0 to pi by 2 okay now we can put that is for root over of 2 into a 2a into x that is 2a sin square theta so 2a 2a that is 4a square 4a square sin square theta okay now coming to this that is again 2ax that is 4a square sin square theta minus x square that means we need to take the square of this that is 4a square sin square means sin power 4 theta okay now dx that means dx equals to 4a sin theta cos theta d theta that is 4a sin theta cos theta d theta okay now moving ahead that is for integration 0 to pi by 2 here we can take yes that is root over 4 is 2 root over of a square is a root over sin square theta is sin theta so we can select this is 2a sin theta now from this we can take common that is 4a square sin square theta okay that is again 2a sin theta and what is left here that is here we have 1 and what is left here is, that is sin square theta okay if you take sin square theta this will be left with sin square theta again okay and here we have 1 now this is as it is that is 4a sin theta cos theta d theta now you can see here we have 4 
22 that is 4 4 fourth cube is 64 64 here we have a a a that is a cube again integration limit is from 0 to pi by 2 what is left that is sin theta sin theta sin theta that is sin cube theta this is 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta so root over the cos square theta is cos theta so cos theta to cos theta will become cos square theta d theta now we know that is from gamma function you must be knowing one formula that is uh, integration 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power m into cos theta power n d theta is given by gamma of m plus 1 upon 2 into gamma of n plus 1 upon 2 whole upon twice of gamma of m plus n plus 2 upon 2 this is the formula and we are going to use this formula here okay fine so this v we are finding v that is volume Anna? okay volume that is 64 a cube yes if you compare this with this you will find m equals to 3 okay and n equals to 2 so here we can write that is gamma of m plus 1 upon 2 that is 3 plus 1 that is 4 upon 2 that is gamma of 2 into gamma of n plus 1 upon 2 that is n equals to 2 so 2 plus 1 that is 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 okay now this is okay now we can write that is 2 gamma of 3 that is m equals to 3 n equals to 2 3 plus 2 that is 5 plus 7 plus 2 that is 7 upon 2 so here we can write that is 7 upon 2 now yes 64 upon 2 that is 32 we can write this as 32 a cube what is gamma of 2 that is 1 into what is gamma of 3 upon 2 that is half into root pi whole upon this is gamma of 7 upon 2 7 upon 2 means 5 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 into root pi so here you can see root pi root pi gets cancelled half half again gets cancelled what is left that is 5 upon 2 and 3 upon 2 so 5 into 3 that is 15 in the denominator and this 2 into 2 we can take this and multiply with this 32 so 2 into 2 that is 4 4 into 32 will become 128 so we can say this is 128 this is a cube upon 5 into 3 that is 15 and this is what this is the volume and this is what we wanted to find and the unit would be cubic units so hence we can say like we have proved this that is volume enclosed is 128 a cube upon 15 cubic units so thank you thank you so much